Hey everybody, this is Lisa Freeman from StampingWithLisa.com and I wanted to show you all of the great things I found at the Dollar Tree the other day. And I was going through the craft section there and I don't know if you guys have seen the Dollar Tree lately, but they have some amazing things that you can use in your stamping business for classes. And that's mainly what I was looking for, something to use in my classes. But I found so many other great things that I just wanted to show everybody because um, Dollar Tree actually is based in Chesapeake, Virginia, which is where I live. So if you look on the back of their products and it says Greenbrier International um, and it says Chesapeake, Virginia, that's exactly where I live. So all the products that you get from Dollar Tree are found at the headquarters right here based where I live. So I thought that's exciting. So we have a Dollar Tree um, about every mile around here. So you can go to one and find some stuff and, and then it won't be at another one but I went to a couple different ones to find these things. So hopefully they're where you are. So let's get into this. Let me show you exactly what I found. First thing I wanna show you is this cute little tray, um, ugh, crate. <laughs> okay, that'll be a blooper. <laughs> this cute little crate I thought was so adorable. And don't you just love it? I think it's just so cute. And it's only um, about six inches long and it is about three and a half inches wide, but I did all of these projects with it. So I wanna show you each one. So the first one, I took our paper from In Good Taste, that's our designer series paper, and I just picked out different pieces from the pack and did it, um, let me show you this one. So this is the paper that I started with, and I just wrapped it around the box. I didn't wrap it around, I cut it in four pieces, so there's a front, a back, and the two sides. And after I did that, I glued it down, and then I wrapped a piece of ribbon around it, and then put these flowers in there that I found also at the Dollar Tree. So I got two different packs of flowers. They were a dollar each. So this whole entire project cost $3. So a dollar for the crate, and then $2 for the flowers. So I thought that was an adorable little fall project to just put on your kitchen table or dining room table. Isn't that adorable? I just love it. Make sure you guys leave a comment and let me know what you think. So this is my first time like transforming things from the Dollar Tree because normally they don't have that many great things. But I mean, I went crazy when I was in there the other day and I spent almost $100 on stuff. So this one, same exact thing. I took our same paper from the um, In Good Taste pack and wrapped it around. This is just a different pattern. And I wrapped the ribbon around too. And then these flowers, I didn't find at the Dollar Tree because most of what they had was the fall flowers. So I had these that I had gotten from Michael's a long time ago, so I just threw them in there. But it's just two little packs of flowers and I just cut the bottom of them off and put them in here. Isn't that adorable? Give me some hearts if you like it. And then the other one, same pack of paper, just a different pattern. And this one I thought was cute for storing your pearls and rhinestones and things like that. So I just put a bunch of different Stampin' Up! products in here. So you could have this like on your, um, in your stamp room on the stamp table just to display some different products that we have. And if you're not a stamping person, you could put whatever you want in there. It'd be cute for like napkins or um, just about anything you could put in there that you want. And see this little cute chalkboard thing? That's also from the Dollar Tree. Let me show you those. So they come four in a pack and you can get two different designs. So they're 25 cents each. You can get the rectangle kind or the label kind. And then they also sell the chalk marker to write on them. So all these things are just a dollar. I love the Dollar Tree, it's my favorite store. Then we have these little buckets, which I thought, wow, how cute is that? My daughter's getting married in December and I sent her a picture of these because I thought these would be cute for the tables at the wedding. You could put candy or um, mints or whatever you want in there, um, or nuts. And then there's a little picture of it right there. So you could fill it with whatever you want and then put the ribbon on there, put a little tag, like thanks for coming or you know whatever you want. I just thought they were so cute, any kind of little favors. And if you want, you could actually wrap the ribbon around the front of it and actually put a little strip of designer paper too. So those are cute. Then I found these little mini um, bottles, mini glass containers. They're four for a dollar also. And I thought these would be cute to put um, our sequins in. And so then you could just shake it out um, 
just a couple of them out because I know when I have them in the little containers like we have them in, I always spill them everywhere. So if you have them in a little jar like this, they'd be, um, I think, easier to get out. So I thought that was really cute. And again, if you're not a stamper, you could put beads or buttons or whatever you want in there. Or you could even put some liquid in there probably. I don't know. They'd be good for anything. But you could also decorate them, put some designer paper and a ribbon around to that too. And I wanted to show you how to make one of these because they're so simple, it takes like five minutes. So I cut the paper. I'll put the, dim the dimensions in my um, comment section. And I just had the piece of paper here a second ago. Wait a minute. Oh. There we go. All right, so I've got two pieces that are six by two and three quarters, and then two pieces that are three and a half by two and three quarters. And it's just a sliver off of that, but it's better to have too much than not enough. So I'm just gonna take some of our Tombow glue, put it right on the wood, and you wanna try and get pretty close to the edge, and then just put your paper down on there, and just line it up with the bottom. And it fits perfect from top to bottom, it's just a sliver over the edge. So I'm gonna trim that in just a second. Hold it down and let it adhere and then flip it over. Do the other side. Oops, I'm gonna do the box. And then put that one down and just hold it for a second. I spilled a little bit of glue, oops. <laughs> My sister's videotaping this, so hopefully she's doing a good job. Say hi, Carrie. Hi. I'm trying. <laughs> she's, she's visiting for a few days, so I put her to work because I wanted... It's so hard for me to do a video and get um, stuff like this on it because I just have like a tripod to, fit, to videotape with, and um, it's hard to, you know, do something like this with it. So then it's just got a little bit of a, a trim that you need to trim off there. Oops, this one has a teeny bit on the top, too. Let me just trim that real quick. And these are our paper snips, which are the best scissors in the whole world. All right, and then let me trim this little edge. I was afraid to do eights because I know that throws some people off. So it's just easier to go ahead and do six inches. All right, then we're gonna do the, do the two um, side pieces. And if you'd like to get any of these products, the Stampin' Up paper or the ribbon, or any of these embellishments or anything else, I'd be happy to order for it, order it for you. All you have to do is go to my website, stampingwithlisa.com. It's also in the description box in case you forget. Oops, it's a little crooked. And you could really do this any color you want, any flowers you want, put anything you want in there. But it's so cute. This would be a great class project. I think I'm going to go back and see if I can find a bunch more of these. But probably once I post this, everybody's going to go to the Dollar Tree here and buy them all. So I better go in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's what happens. Like people see stuff on the on videos and then they all go run to the Dollar Tree and buy them all up. Okay. So there you go. There's your box done. And that just quick and easy. All right, then we're gonna wrap some ribbon around it. And I wanted to show you this ribbon. This is actually the ribbon from the Flowers for Every Season. You get three different kinds in here. And one of them is this white, uh, kind of, it's almost like organdy ribbon, organza ribbon. Um, and the, so this started out white. And what I did was I took one of our ink pads, the Blushing Bride ink pad, and just take one of our sponges, dip it in there, and then dab it off because you don't want it too thick because I did that I mistake I did that mistake and just got it too dark right there but that's okay so then you just go like this all the way down and just keep inking it up and you can kind of get a little tie dye look or if you do it really really um, even then you can get it all the way around oops I got glue on my finger all right so then I'm gonna wrap this around the box the wood crate and tie a, rip, a tie a bow. It's hard to do this when you're um, on camera. You know how you can always do everything until you're on camera and then you start messing up? Because <laughs> you get nervous. <laughs> All right, so we make a little bow. 
And that came out almost perfect. All right, and then I'm just gonna trim that ribbon. All right, so let me know what you guys think in the comment sections. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. Just leave them in the comment section too. So there's the finished box. Isn't that adorable? I love that one. Isn't that cute? Love that one. I think it's so adorable. Love. love it, love it, love it. But any paper will work. I just happen to have this one pack sitting here, so I kept grabbing pieces from the, the, that pack. And it's one of my favorite um, packs because it comes with 24 sheets. So you have a lot to pick from. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If there's any Stampin' Up! products you'd like to get, feel free to um, email me, stampingwithlisa.com. I mean, uh, stampgirl2 at cox.net or go to my website, stampingwithlisa.com and hit the shopping button. And thank you so much for watching and y'all have a great night.